William Sr. of Nassau was one of the leading economists of the 19th century. Although he received his primary education in the field of law, Sr., who has many works published in the field of political economy, also held bureaucratic positions in the field of economics. Sr.'s approach to economics was focused on facts and practical solutions rather than hypothetical theories. William Sr. of Nassau was born on September 26, 1790, in England, as the eldest child of a priest. He completed his university education at Oxford in law, under the tutelage of Richard Whateley, who would later become Archbishop of Dublin. Sr. completed his education in 1811 and became an academic in 1813. Senior's interest in economics and his publications attracted the attention of the university, so he was elected president of the Oxford Chair of Economics, which was established in 1825. Senior would hold this post from 1830 to 1852. Senior worked as a consultant and economist in British governments of the time. In 1830, at the request of Prime Minister William Melbourne, he was asked to question the status of workers' strikes and to give a report on the impact of the strikes on the economy. Senior took part in the amendment to the poverty law and carried out observations and studies to make necessary improvements in the work areas. He wrote the book An Outline of the Science of Political Economy, one of the important works of the period in the field of economics. Senior held advisory positions during the British Whig Party rule. As a bureaucrat, he advised the government on employment, trade, salaries, working hours and education, and served on various commissions. In addition, Senior contributed to economics and social sciences by publishing his articles in various journals. Unfortunately, he lost his professorship at Oxford because he was a member of the Irish Catholic Church. William Senior of Nassau died in London in 1864. Senior, who handled the economy with an inductive approach, criticized theoretical economists such as John Stuart Mill. According to him, the economy should be completely freed from theory and shaped according to real-life events. In addition, Senior is among the first to use some economic terms. For example, he was the first to use the word deprivation as an economic term. The abstinence theory of profit he developed explains the process of obtaining a reward for not spending his accumulated capital. He took the lead among the classical economists who opposed the Malthusians, opposing Thomas Malthus' theory of population. According to him, the level of welfare would continue to increase as the increasing population would support economic growth. William Nassau Sr. was the first professor of political economy at Oxford University and the first to hold such a chair in England. With his work, he made important contributions to the theories of rent, population, money and international trade. He was never as influential as Adam Smith, Thomas Robert Malthus or David Ricardo, but his work furthered and developed his theories.